Alrighty, we have a construction update. Finally, it feels like it's been like three weeks since I've posted a construction update. Everyone is commenting in every single video that isn't Canada's Wonderland. Where's the construction update? Do a construction update. And I promise, guys, if there's something to film, I will film it. And if the weather's OK, I will film it. If I don't upload something, it usually means there's nothing to film or the weather is bad. I promise you guys, I literally have no life. I'm the biggest loser on the face of the earth. Um, and, uh, I will be there if there's something to film. I promise you guys, you will always get the most up-to-date construction updates on Yukon Striker from this channel. Um, <laughs> just to insult myself a little bit, I promise you, I have no life. You will always see what's going on with Yukon Striker the minute something happens. Um, so I'm going to go over everything that's happened, um, in the last, I guess, five to six days now since my last construction update. Uh, it's almost seven. So yeah, today's the sixth day since my last construction update. Um, lots has happened. They've installed, um, they've installed six pieces um, to the Immelman since the last update two days ago. So six pieces um, were installed between yesterday and today. In fact, actually, I think it's four pieces. So to correct, yes, it is four pieces that have been installed. It just looked a lot larger from above. So the four pieces that they that I said in my last construction construction update have been installed. They had two pieces sitting on the site, two pieces sitting on the flatbed ready to transport in. Those have been installed. They are connected to that. I, I want to call it a V-frame. It could be a Y-frame. Um, it is so difficult with these uh, support structures to uh, cor uh, correctly name them. Um, but yes, I think it's a Y-frame or a V-frame. It's one of the two. It's connected. It's pulling out of the inversion, heading on into the zero G roll. Um, the crane has been moved, so they moved the crane all the way down in between vortex in the pond. Um, so they are definitely getting ready to put some support beams up for the zero G roll or heading into the zero G roll, the pull out of the Immelman. Those will be going up. I can see the support beams in the drone footage, which will be at the end of this video. Actually, we're already almost there uh, for the, uh, the drone footage. So the support beams are on site, ready to go in. Um, this is what I thought was interesting. So the, uh, some construction vehicles have shown up underneath Leviathan's turnaround. It's nothing to do with Leviathan. I just wanted to point out where it was located. Um, I did read on Vaughn's website. So you can go look at permits and stuff that Wonderland files and other companies file. And there was some wording under, you know, the, sell, the sale of the hospital land that eventually... Um, Wonderland would get its second entrance back and it could be that maybe they want the second entrance back. So Wonderland's always had two entrances into the parking lot. Um, I think we're one of the only Cedar Fair chain parks. I could be wrong with two toll entrances into the park. We haven't had it since the sale of the land back in the Dick Kinzel era era. Um, and uh, I do know that they'll probably need it now that Yukon Striker is here next year. Um, getting into the park is a nightmare. Sometimes you have to wait an hour uh, to just get into the parking lot, even though they have this long drive that you can see just uh, right there in the drone shot to the bottom right. They have this massive Wonderland drive. But back on topic, the Immelman is looking fantastic. So it is very egg shaped. <laughs> there are a couple shots that you saw from different angles that made it look very circular, but it is definitely egg shaped like most Immelmans. Um, it is really tall. So it is slightly taller than Skyhawk from the looks of it. I don't know how tall Skyhawk is, especially sitting on the hill. But from every angle I filmed that, it looked slightly taller than Skyhawk and usually multiple angles. If it's looking taller, it's probably taller. Um, the Immelman, again, from base up is 188 feet tall. So it'll be the third tallest inversion in the world once it's open. Um, it'll be behind um, a wing coaster in China, I believe, that's opening up. I think it's in China that is opening up. It'll have the tallest inversion then... Um, the second tallest will be Steel Curtain, and this will be the third tallest inversion at 188 feet. Correct me down below if I have mistaken that fact, but I believe at 188 feet tall, it will be the third tallest inversion in the world. And when you're looking at this from every angle around the park, it you can tell it is like the third tallest inversion in the world. In fact, this thing is massive. You can see it from anywhere around the park. Um, on the outside of the park, and uh, it's impressive. So as you can tell, they're definitely gearing up to start theming and building the station and all that. They have cleared out all the garbage and trash and excess construction equipment from that area. Look how clean and spotless it looks from even up here. Uh, I pointed that out on my Saturday vlog and my Saturday construction update. It was looking really clean in that area. So as you can see there, they have um, the crane... Um, Actually, I think that's a cherry picker, but uh, they've definitely removed track on Vortex 
Um, so track has been removed on a part of Vortex, I believe. Um, Vortex has actually this emergency roadway that runs in between it. Um, in case, I guess, they ever have to do an evac or something. There's an emergency roadway. You saw it when they were building it. Um, Yukon Striker earlier, the tunnel, they will remove two pieces of Vortex just to get vehicles in and out of there. So if you see Vortex track removed in any of my construction updates, it is just for that reason. Nothing's going on with Vortex. Um, but yeah, this thing's looking awesome. The drone footage today might be a little more blurry than it typically is. I didn't realize until I got home that my gimbal was actually out of place. So I was getting a abnormal gimbal vibration warning on my controller and I couldn't figure it out what was going on. So I just filmed anyways. Um, just because it was already getting dark when I filmed, you can tell. Um, but I did figure out when I got home. So all is well. The drone will be working properly in my next construction update next week. Um, so yeah, it's looking impressive. This thing is moving nicely. So over on in the vertical loop section, if you saw, they were definitely looking, working, not looking, looking at some footings. They were working on some footings and still digging up some footings out of the um, vertical loop area. So everything's looking awesome. Again, we will have our in-person construction update shortly. Our giveaways are going to start tomorrow. Don't forget to go follow us on Facebook. The link will be down in the comments section below. Go follow us on Facebook to stay tuned on how you can possibly win some awesome stuff um, for our giveaways. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an amazing weekend. Bye.